if you had a chance yet to do the measurement lab and you've done the whole egg thing, then this will be kind of very familiar to you. So think egg if you've done that lab. This physical property of coming up with a weight percent of a component or mass percent, they mean the same thing, only deals with mixtures. So let's just say you have component A and B mixed together. You might want to come up with the mass percent of a component, mass percent of A, mass percent of B. Of course, hopefully you imagine that the mass percents will add up to be equal to 100% if you add up all of the mass percents of all of the components. So that's kind of how that all goes. What is listed here is, let me clear all slides. What is listed here is if somebody gives you a mass percent, what they mean is that is the grams of the component in 100 grams of mixture. So, for instance, somebody says they made up a salt solution, salt solution, and they said that it is, um, let's see, let's make it 5.76% NaCl, right? 5.76% NaCl. We could unpack that, and since it's percent means parts per hundred, and it's a weight percent, so we could unpack that, and I'll kind of put it up here, and we could say that there are five, seven, there are 5.76 grams of NaCl in 100 grams of solution, of that particular salt solution. Does that make sense? So that's kind of unpacking a weight percent. That's what that means. But like in the egg lab, or in general, if you're going to want to calculate weight percent, what you're going to have to do is isolate a certain amount of the mixture, and then somehow you're going to have to come up with what are the grams of that component of interest in that mixture that you set aside. So then you're going to divide the grams of the component that you found by the total grams of the mixture, that you set aside and to get it in parts per 100 you're going to multiply by I usually put by a hundred percent and I'm gonna I think do an example here in the next part so this is how you find it so this is how to calculate okay now along the line along the way there is a related term to the same solution called mass fraction mass fraction of the component and it's going to look very similar to um, weight percent, okay? But weight fraction or mass fraction is just one step kind of short of that, if you ask me. Notice it says that by definition, it's the ratio of grams of a component per one gram of mixture. So it looks like this. So mass fraction, and I wish I made, I added this to my slide, is equal to grams of component A, I'll just put grams of A if that works for you, divided by one gram of mixture. Now I can't remember the number I used a minute ago, <laughs> but let's just say for instance again we have a salt solution and let's just say they say it's mass fraction or weight fraction, it's the same thing, it's mass fraction is 0.07 5. Okay? So 0 0.075, that is the um, grams, what that means, I'll just put it up here if that works for you, what it means is there's 0 0.075 grams of NaCl in one gram of solution. That's what that means. Now, down here, I want to add one more thing to the slide. I know it's new, but I'm going to say, how do you calculate? How do you calculate mass fraction if you need to do so? Well, all you got to do is, and again, you'll see where it kind of just falls short of being mass percent. All you got to do is take, if it's the mass um, fraction of A, we need to set aside a certain amount, and we're going to find the mass of the mixture and we're somehow we need to tease out the mass of a component A in that particular mixture we set aside and you're done. Okay, you just divide out those grams and you're done. You have the mass fraction.